What's up guys? Welcome back. Um, another the video we're doing this bleh, I can't talk. <laughs> This video we're doing is a little different. I got Sam here behind the camera and uh, mm. we are doing a P-Pump swap on a first gen. We got this parts truck here behind us. We're actually doing the intro afterwards. But uh Cause yeah. we got ahead of ourselves and just like yeah, messed it all up. Yeah, we, we got ahead of ourselves and yeah. We got it done, but here's the video. What if you told people we're peep pumping your truck? Peep pumping my truck? <laughs> sure. Uh, Alright. So it's ready for the. It's ready to put all the. the uh, new housing? Peep pump housing. Yeah. Wow, it's raining out there. Mm. Should we see how it looks? It's that nasty. Here, bring the camera over here. Okay. Look down in, I don't know how well, how well you can see down in there. Like, look down in here, these tappets here. You can see them mm -hmm. right, right down in there. They actually look really clean. They're really smooth. There's no, like, pitting. Yeah. Like, some high mile trucks will get pitting on it. The camshaft looks really good, too. But, uh, yeah, everything. There ain't no door on my access. That's really sure. nice, yeah. <laughs> That's weird. Like the simplest thing. Mm -hmm. Right there. Valve taps. Is that what they call? Yeah, about the tappet lifters, whatever you call them. Mm -hmm. Focus. And then up front here, on the cam bushing, there's like 
Usually, like, these will be, like, worn or yeah. pretty badly. This one's actually really nice for for an old 12 valve, but mm -hmm. then... So we can just reuse that gasket and everything? Yeah, that gasket's all good. You can just still reuse that. Yeah, it's not really... Since only we didn't run it at all, we just, yeah. tor we just torqued it down. So... So... Here's the old parts truck. The old the yee -yee donor truck. the yee, yee truck. That's some serious yee yees that had this thing. Um, let me see here. But here's what we want. Uh, uh, uh. So, you see how these rockers are back here? You gotta pull those rockers out. And, uh, I don't see that crap, let me pull this one out real quick. Um, Listen. Basically, you see there, to be can, to be can. There's like a hole up inside the. Let me get a light up in there. There's oh, a the firewall. Up, up inside the yeah, the cow here that has these little rubber plugs in. Mm -hmm. You just pop those out, and then you can pull. So they actually make that mm -hmm. to pull that. Yep. So they're not like GM. Nope. Like gotcha. Here, see your your push rods. You, mm -hmm. They just feed right up into the cow. And then you can pull them out. Real See, nice. GM, GM doesn't do that crap for you. Yeah. Just like the right. Yeah. Oh lord. <laughs> Dang. Okay, and how long was this? When we had like, this is crazy. If we would have had a, a freaking Duramax here, we would have like. A couple wiring harnesses off. Yeah. And that's about it. Yeah. Versus here we have like freaking injectors are still in, but everything else, the valve train, all that crap, the cover, we're like ready to pull the camshaft. So what are we exactly we need the Yeah, so over here pump. we took the other motor over here that we have on the end and yeah. flipped it around. So all the tappets fall back into the block. Basically. What we're gonna have to do with this one since it's in the truck yet, is we got this kit here with these wooden dowels. Oh, okay. Just take these wooden dowels and you shove them back down into the tappets and pull it up and you can take like a zip tie or rubber band to hold it up. And you just do that with each one and then you can you're able to slide the cam out then. That's what we're yeah, gonna do now. Throw these in there. But here is the uh, the block or the motor out of the first gen. Um, the camshaft pulled everything. Um, basically, ready for the housing. We're gonna put the different uh, fill housing on there to um, fit the peep pump. So what we're doing is. Let me turn this around here. Um, is where people are swapping uh, the truck or the motor out of the uh, first gen right here. And we found a parts truck up in Iowa over, over there. Right there, he's working on it. Yeah, yeah. But. What we did is we found the whole truck um, up in Iowa for, um, we just ended up buying the whole truck up in Iowa there. And we're yanking the P-Pump fuel lines and everything off versus it's probably cheaper. We got like a whole truck for like $4,600. Um, so we don't have to go buy all individual parts. Plus we have axles. Um, we're probably going to pull a lot of that. We got seats. We got a whole nother motor. So. That's what we're up to. We're peat pumping, peat pump swapping the first gen motor. Um, because we stripped the, uh, the nut on the other one. But that was another idea. So basically tap those down into the lifters? Yeah. What we're doing here is pulling the Shut up, Steve. <laughs> I'm trying to work here. <laughs> we're pull, trying to work. Pull these up as far as you can, and then 
pull them tight. So to get them out, you just need to really yank them out Just there. pull them up, yeah. And then once you have the camshaft pulled out, and then we have everything pulled off and shove the cam back in, then we can just pop these out and the tappets will fall back down on top of the cam. Awesome. What if the cam's out? It doesn't matter. It'll, they they'll, stop. Fall, they'll fall down into the oil pan and then you have to pull the motor. Oh, gotcha. Yup. It's not a good day when that happens. <laughs> it's kind of like... So we're basically relying on a piece of wood stuck in our lifters. Yeah, right it's now. stuck in there good though. Yeah. Like, it's early in there. So, yeah. Use good wood, fellas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it makes all the difference. <laughs> Does this one have the lift pump still on the block yet? Yeah. Can I have the light over light. this? Give me yeah. a... Get some light here for the camera. Is that... Is not. the lift pump still back there? Nope. Nope? Okay. Maybe I just didn't... That's out. There's a block thing on it. Oh, sweet. We can use that one on the first gen. So pull in the second cam. Just like that. Can I not get a tap and pull it up from the way? Is that what happened? Hey, that's what happened. There we go. Okay, we got a lot of that. in that oil pan now. <laughs> Dang it! That's sad. We just drop a lifter in the oil pan. No, that's a, that was the cam. Or what was it? That was the cam. That was the cam retainer. Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this whole job is turning out to be. Don't ever attempt to start this truck without opening the motor. Oh my goodness. Well, we're gonna yank it anyways if we start it, so might as well drop the pan. Hey, so what dropped in there? <laughs> the cam, the retainer that goes behind on the cam here. That bolt holds oh. the cam. So how the heck are you supposed to get that shit in there? <laughs> you're supposed to, you're supposed to pay attention and not do that. Well, why, how did it, like, you barely had it started out, right? Well, I had, I just barely had it out, and it was sitting in there, I had the bolts completely out. And then it was slick in there from the oil. Yeah, and you just slid back. Slid back and fell down. So, don't do that. Bad idea. The problem is I'm not being quite as careful because I know this motor we're not using right now. <laughs> hey, if we start it anyways, it's probably gonna tear it apart. Or at least the bottom pan or something. I don't this know. oil is black. It is awful. It's a second gen. It'll run. It'll run on like a lot worse than that probably. Oh, is it just like down in just a little bit? There's a light. Huh? Oh, I got a little bit of surface rust. What, you seen it down in there? Can you say you're done? Ooh, son of a whore. Grab it, Amber. There we go. Okay. Oh, we got it. Woo That's what fell down the oil pan. Cam retainer. You yeah. can see right down in here. Alright, she's going. There you go. Crap. So what I was showing you earlier on the other motor is that cam bushing. You can see this one. Yeah. Has like scarring on it. Well, I can see scarring. You can feel here, that. Yeah. You can feel that on there. So and that's see not it. good. I mean, most of high mile Cummins engines have this, but if we we're going to be using this engine again, we want to pull that out and put a new one in it. Yeah. Right there. Yeah. You can see it. So, yeah. It's really pretty. Rough too. Yeah. Just got that magnet stage. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Oh man. You don't want to rest. There you go. Ah.
It's not people. Yeah, it's like a motor beside a motor. So that's a peep pump. That is not a peep pump. That's a cunner's block. That is a peep pump. That is a peep pump. That's what I mean. Who? Woo! Where did he put our little redneck? Uh... Oh, there it is, right on the floor. In this little metal tab. This, this, this is a redneck pillar dolphin fix. See right here's your pillar dolphin? Right there. And basically, well, this one. I don't even know what that is, but it's okay. the pin that everybody talks about. Ah! That, that oh, falls, backing out. Oh, yeah, backing yeah, out, yeah, and falling down into the. Uh, what the freak? Falling down into the gears and cracking your case. So we have to flatten that back out because that was made for the VE gear cover. That was it had like a step on it. This yeah. one's just flat across, so we just have to flatten it out a little bit. That way, and not put that there. That way, don't drop it inside the motor. Give me the hammer that's on your seat there. Perfect. Yeah, that's windy, I think. Holy shit. Sounds like someone's up there. Sounds like naders. It's <laughs> like what? Naders. naders. Let's go nader chasing. Valve covers on. <clears throat> Valves are set. Everything. Head bolts are back in. Injectors are in. Camshafts in. Front cover. P pumps mounted up. <laughs> 